Today we'll be making unaku maki. And for the unaku, we're gonna need unagi and cucumbers. And unagi is freshwater eel. We need 10 grams of cucumbers and 20 grams of unagi, a single sheet of nori, a small amount of sesame seeds, our makisu, a sharp knife, and a small bowl with a little bit of water for dipping our fingers in so the sushi rice doesn't stick. Now we're ready to roll our unakyu. I'm gonna start by placing our makisu on the cutting board. We want our flat side of the makisu facing up. Then we're gonna place our nori on the makisu with the rough side facing up. There's a shiny side facing out. Ends up being more presentable this way. And when we place it on the makisu, I'm gonna leave a small amount of space at the bottom here, about half an inch, uh, which aids um, in rolling. Then we're gonna dip our fingers in our water bowl here and spread the water out on our hands so the sushi rice does not stick to our hands. And we're gonna place the rice across the middle of the roll here and then spread it down to the bottom edge and the side. But we wanna leave the top half inch bare nori. So now we have our rice evenly spread around the nori and we've left a small space here. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of sesame seeds on the center, a little line across the center here. And then we'll put our nagi and our cucumbers inside. ready to roll it up. I'm going to start by putting our thumbs under the maikisu on the back here and our fingers on top of the ingredients inside and just applying gentle pressure as we roll up and we want to bring the nori to meet the other side of the nori. Now we want to be careful here if we have any cucumbers sticking out we'll just tuck them in it will prevent from the roll sticking to itself. So then once we have it here we're just going to do another quarter turn and apply light pressure very gently we don't want to squash the rice or the ingredients inside and we're ready to cut our roll we're going to start by cutting the roll directly in the center and bringing this half around and lining it up and we'll cut this section into thirds We're ready to plate. And if your cuts aren't perfectly even, you can put the tall piece in the middle here. Ends up being a little bit more visually appealing this way. And then for this roll, we're gonna apply a little bit of unagi sauce on top. When we dab the unagi sauce on, we don't want to completely cover the roll. We're just going to do a little dab on each piece right in the middle. So you can see a little bit of the rice on the outside. We have our unaku maki. <laughs>